Going into your 20s is both exciting and frightening. It may be filled with more responsibilities, security, insecurities, yet venturing into an unknown decade in your life. Words that come up are like adventure, experimenting, freedom, expectations. A decade where you're trying to find yourself, discover yourself, and a decade where you try to figure out exactly what you want to do for the rest of your life. I worked at KFC, Walmart as a sushi server. I worked for Ty Lopez. I got on stage with Tony Robbins. I've invested into tons of different masterminds. I've been immersed by people of business and things that are of my interest. And I've been able to start my own businesses and help other people as well get employed and just have a life and make a living off the companies that we've built. I was rejected by colleges, failed tons of businesses, didn't get jobs that I applied for, facing depression, life crisis, and thinking that I'd never just be enough. But I came out coming from my 20s, going into 30s with more clarity, a lot more confidence, and definitely more connections. I've learned that as some doors close or good doors close, better doors end up opening up. I honestly thank God for the closed doors in my life. Closed doors of relationships that would have probably led into divorce. Promotions that would have led to toxic environments. I thank God that those moments when I faced rejection was actually redirection. This last decade of my life, I've experienced so much that I can really be grateful for. Just a lot of gratitude of what I've experienced. I might not have traveled all around the world or experienced every culture's food. I might not have kids yet and probably didn't pursue a degree that I thought I was going to pursue. I may not be where I thought I was gonna be, but I know that I am where I should be. And I can honestly say in these last couple years, in my 20s, I've really started to align myself to live that life of purpose. And I once heard that the purpose of life is to live a life of purpose. And in the midst of all that chaos in my 20s, when I was 25, I found God. So let me tell y'all the seven things I've learned in my 20s, and I hope this really helps. Number one is to take calculated risks. The reason why I say calculated risk is because sometimes we do need to calculate and have wisdom in the risk that we take, okay? I'm not telling y'all to go do some things that is gonna allow your life to be at stake, but take risks, okay? Sometimes we can't be over analytical with these risks as well. And other times we just can't be playing too small when it comes to taking risk. A risk is a risk. If you feel called to that path, Try it, test it. If you really feel an intuition or a pulling, right? A pulling of some sort into testing something, trying something out, and it's not here to hurt others, and it's not here to allow yourself to be in jeopardy with your life at stake, take that risk. Whether it's investing into something with money, resources, time, maybe going into a summer camp of some sort, or learning a new language, or traveling and studying abroad for a summer, take risk and experience more. I've taken a lot of risk in my life in business, really, and I'm grateful that I was able to take all those risks, invest into so many different things, be part of different uh, communities, having all these connections. I'm glad I took risk, took a risk to leave San Diego, to move out to LA. I'm just glad I took those risks because when I take risk, and this is what risk allow you to do, it allows you to get out of a comfortable situation to become uncomfortable so you can grow. Take risk, y'all. Number two is people's opinions of you is irrelevant. Forget all the noise, forget all the opinions. It's okay to get advice, but don't let that be the final confirmation on your life. It's great to hear other people's perspectives, but opinions that influence us into a place that we're not destined to go, man, that's death. That's a place of, I'm gonna say it, it's like going to hell because you're not loving the life or enjoying the life because you're living under someone else's opinions. Taking advice from somebody who's not living a life that I wanna live, I tell y'all, it's vanity, it's useless, it's meaningless. I've taken so much advice from people that were managers at, for example, Walmart. They were, of course, what are they gonna tell me? To get a degree and go ahead and pursue this, work 20 years there to become a manager, 10 years to become a manager at Walmart. I was taking advice from people from all, all around, and the advice that I took was based on the advice that was in their life and what they were going through, and to the level of exposure, experience, and knowledge that they only had. Again, it's great to hear others' opinions, but taking their advice and applying it to my life verbatim may not always be the best choice. 
uncles, aunts, mom, dad, family, they love us. It's great to hear their life experience and advice. But at the end, only you really know what you're called to do, or at least you're searching for that thing, and it's not always under somebody else's box. Other people's opinions on your life is irrelevant. If I cared what other people thought, I wouldn't be on social media. If I cared what other people thought, I wouldn't have pursued more than half the things that I'm doing in my life. Get around visionaries, dreamers, people that see past this current circumstance because they might give you better advice, but in the end of the day, the advice you should be taking is the advice that is attached to your purpose. And we're always pursuing whatever that purpose is based on our gifts and the grace that God has given us. Number three, age deadlines. You don't need multiple cars, a fancy house, fancy luxury vehicles, and four kids by the age of 30. Life is different, y'all. And the generation that our parents lived in is so much different than our generation. They never really had the internet. They didn't have all these opportunities. Life is so much different nowadays with the expansion of technology, software, the internet, crypto. There's so much stuff going on now, blockchain, right? So there's so much based on our actual society and generation versus our parents' generation. And just know it's like the new 30 is the 40, right? The new... 20 is like the 30s and that's how it is it's it's real it's honest and i you, we feel younger than ever we're we're acting so much younger the older we are at 30 versus 30 in our parents generation don't think you have to hit a specific goal based on the age anymore in society it's so much different it's a different way of living there's different opportunities schools different education's different america is so much different so a lot of the things that's taking place right now as far as like the age deadline it's great to have vision and aspire and hit goals at a certain age it's great to do that but don't feel depressed. Don't feel discouraged when you don't hit that deadline. Be mindful of age deadlines. Number four is to learn new skills. Just know that you don't have to be an expert at just one skill for the rest of your life. You can learn new skills. You wanna learn painting, you wanna learn ice skating, boxing, coding, softwares. You wanna learn video editing, Photoshop. There's so many skills that you can learn and you don't have to learn just one skill for the rest of your life. If there's anything that I wish I did more of my time with, it was learning more skills. I wish I learned how to video edit better. I wish I knew more about cameras and softwares and editing. I wish I knew more of a lot of different things. I wish I took more Muay Thai lessons, boxing lessons. I wish I took golfing lessons. And it's not saying that it's too late in my life to do all those things, but it's saying I wish I spent time learning more new skills. Even if it's learning one new skill a year in your 20s. This year I'm learning this. This year I'm learning this. Now you're skill stacking. And so many people that are successful in so many different ad adventures and endeavors, they skill stack. And that's what allows the talents and the skills to do whatever they're doing. I mean, we see creators nowadays, YouTubers nowadays, TikTokers, people on Instagram. We see so many different people that have amazing skills that they've built for years and diversified skills. Learn new skills as you're in your 20s. And it's never too late as well. Just know it's never too late for me i'm gonna learn so many new skills in this next decade but i wish i could have skill stacked so much more as i'm learning more continue to learn new skills get courses youtube university free google things go into local classes events go take a gym membership and learn boxing at the local boxing club or whatever that is learn new skills y'all every day every year sharpen your skills number five is to meet new people and I think connections are so valuable. Connections are very important. Meeting new people have allowed me to accelerate into places that I thought I would never have been before because of a connection, because of the ability to allow somebody to refer me somewhere. My connections got me into the rooms that I never thought I would have gotten into. I wouldn't have landed a lot of the jobs without the connections. I wouldn't have been able to get into certain events or places without the connections. Meeting new people all the time is so great. I'd meet if you could meet a lot of new people do it and it's so much easier nowadays because of the internet internet local meetups if there's anything that you could do it's to be able to continue to meet new people I believe we were created to be able to connect with other people build relationships 
And me, I'm glad I've met so many great people in my life. And I'm not just talking about staying friends with your high school friends. Don't be scared to branch out of that. Yes, I get it. You're going to have your long, long-term long friends. And me, I was labeled an introvert growing up. That's how I was. I wasn't always trying to meet new people in high school. I wish I, I made more friends in high school. I wish I made friends with almost everybody I got into and, and saw. I wish I just said hi. It's the same thing with going out there in the world after high school. Continue to increase your Rolodex of connections and meet new people. A high at the grocery store, a high at the movie theaters, wherever you're at, at the park, it goes a long way to build connections. And they definitely have to be the right connections. Number six is to join masterminds, communities, and attend events. This has been powerful in my life because I'm somebody that loves to grow. I love to my immerse myself into environments where other people that are like-minded are. And I love new connections. Even though I was raised introvert, new connections have opened doors I thought I would have never been before. Join your local masterminds. Join into communities. Facebook, there's a ton of communities. There's so many different communities you guys can join. Local events, events where other people that you look up to on, uh, it could be Instagram, social media that are promoting, that they're going to be speaking at. These are the events you need to be part of in, in industries that you might be into and just around like-minded people. Do not forsake this. Join communities, events, and your local masterminds. I'm talking about the paid mentorships as well. Because when you see people that pay, they are serious about their growth. It could be any industry, any industry. You could be learning about golfing and you see a whole bunch of people investing into golfing for coaching, right? Coaching somebody that's coaching you while you're trying to get better at golf. There's a coach for everything out there. Find these types of communities, get connected with people that are serious about their growth and watch your life elevate. This is last but not least is put God first. I've truly surrendered to God in my life at the age of 25. So about five years ago and the last five years of my 20s were probably the best and one of the greatest learning curves of my life. I wish I put God first earlier and I knew who God really was. You guys might not be believers of the Bible, but if you look at every self-help person out there, everything that is kind of wisdom, you can take it back into the Bible. It's Proverbs. I mean, the greatest business book is the Bible. The greatest book on love is the Bible. And I'm not here to sell y'all on that. You can go check it out. You can do your study for yourself, but you got to put God first in everything you do. And that's something that in the middle of my 20s, it turned my heart and I was able to receive a lot of the success that I did because there's so many principles, biblical principles that you could take in your everyday life, marriage, relationships. There's a lot of healing that needs to go through, restoration. There's something powerful about taking principles that the God of the heavens has pretty much created for us to be able to use that, those principles, take our gifts and maximize on the opportunities. If it wasn't for my relationship with God, I wouldn't feel as fulfilled in my life. I wouldn't feel that I have purpose in the gifts and me really being called to be a communicator, somebody that was called to be able to lead people, help people. I found my worth when I found my identity in God. So I encourage you, even if it's reading the book of Proverbs, there's so much wisdom in the book of Proverbs. You'll probably see some people quoting the book of Proverbs, not even knowing that's in the, it's in the book of Proverbs. My life has never been the same after I've committed my life to always put God first in everything I do. The foundation of what I built has to be with God's hand in it and God's approval. And you guys have probably seen that. I have a different ministry channel that talks about all these things, but I really wanted to share this. I know I put it at number seven. It's definitely at the top of my list, but I wanted to share it because I believe every successful person, they have their faith in something. They're always looking for peace. They're always looking for those tranquil times and, the, and putting their faith into any type of spirituality. And I found mine in the Word of God. The Bible. The Bible stands for basic instructions before leaving earth. Anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed. Are you in your 20s? Are you in your mid-20s? Are you leaving your 20s? Maybe you're not in your 20s, you're in your 30s or 40s. These are still things you can apply to yourself. But if you're in your 20s, you're in your prime. There's so much that you can learn. I hope y'all take this. Thanks so much. And if you guys want to learn any other skills, feel free to tap in. I'll link some stuff below. Y'all have a blessed one. Take care. Bye-bye.